Hello and welcome to Book and Pulse GED Express Math Screencast. Today's lesson focuses on solving linear equation. To solve any linear equation, the goal is to get a statement of the form the variable is equals to a number. In order to do this, any operation that has been applied to the variable must be undone. The one rule to remember is that any operation performed on one side of the equation must be performed on the other side of the equation as well. With one-step equations, only one operation is being done to the variable. This means that it takes only one step to undo this operation and get the final answer, the variable by itself. Consider the equation 2x is equals to 8. 2x is equals to, to 8. Here, the x is being multiplied by 2. And to undo this and get the x by itself, you can divide both sides by, by 2. Divided by 2, divided by 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1x, one or you can just write x is equals to 4. So the value of x is 4, so it means the value of x that will make the statement true is equal to 4. Now, similarly, in the equation uh, x plus 5, is equals to, to 2. 5 is being added to, to x. To undo this, you need to subtract 5 from both sides and get x is equals to a number. Okay, minus 5. Here also minus 5. Then 5 minus 5 is equals to 0, so x is equals to 2 minus 5 is equals to minus 3. So we get x is equals to minus 3. Now, in both of these cases, you solve the equation because you found the value of x that made the statement true. Now let's try another example. Two, two third or two over three x is equals to is equals to eight. Now here two third is being multiplied to x. So to undo this we need to divide both sides by, by two-thirds. So divided by two-thirds. Eight divided by two-thirds. So we have x. Two-thirds divided by two-thirds is one, or one x. Or we can just write x. Then eight divided by two-thirds is the same as eight times three over two. Then we can uh, we can simplify one and four. So x is equals to twelve. Now the work in this example may seem complicated, but remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. On the left. 2 third divided by, by itself is 1. Any number divided by, by itself is 1. And 8 divided by 2 third is by definition 8 times 3 over 2. The overall process of undoing the operation still held true. You may find that for the other examples, you were able to tell the answer simply by looking at the equation. 
Even so, it is still a good idea to practice to practice this technique so that you can use them for more complicated equation like in the next examples that we will be having. Okay, another example. This one is a not just one step equation. This is a two step equation. 4x minus 1 is equals to 7. Now, in this case, you should start with undoing the subtraction or addition. So let's undo the subtraction first, minus 1. We can undo minus 1 by adding 1 on both sides. So plus 1. Okay, let's remove this one. We don't need it. Then uh, we have 4x on the left side is equals to 7 plus 1. We have 8. Then, uh, then the next step is to undo the multiplication by dividing it by 4, both sides by 4. So we have 4 divided by 4 is 1 or 1x is equals to 2. So the value of x is equals to 2. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, for this type of equation. x over 7 plus 3 is equals to 5. Okay, what, sh what should we undo first? Let's undo the addition first. So we, we can undo addition by subtraction. So minus 3, minus 3 on both sides. So we have x over 7, then 3 minus 3 is 0 is equals to 5 minus 3 is 2. Then uh, the next step, uh, the operation between x and 7 is div division. So we can undo division by its opposite, multiplication. So we can multiply both sides by 7 divide, times 7. So 7 times x is 7x divided by 7. So we can just simply cancel the 7. Because that's 1. 1x one is equals to 14. So that's the two-step equation. Now let's try some more complicated equation. These are equations that has uh, two or more steps needed. Okay, in finding the value of the variables. Okay, let's try this example. Three x minus 6 plus 1 is equals to minus 2. Oh, boy. There are different operations involved. So first, let us expand the bracket. Okay, we can expand it by distributing 3 to x minus 6. So we have 3x minus 18 plus 1 is equals to minus 2. Let's, sim let's simplify minus 18 and 1. So we have 3x minus 17 is equals to minus 2. Now let's undo minus 17 by adding both sides by 17. So we have plus 17. Then we have 3x on the left side and we have 15 on the other side. Then to undo multiplication, let's divide by 3. By 3, so x is equal to 15 divided by 3 is 5. So the value of x is 5. Okay, done. If we are just following the process in undoing, you know, the operation involved, 
it's easy and we will surely find the the value of the variable that will make the statement true let's try more of this kind of equation multi-step equations 4x minus 9 is equals to 5x plus 1. 5x plus 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, what should we do? First is we can uh, we can move okay those uh, expression that has the same variable on one side and those uh, number or constant on the other side so since the operation is addition and subtraction between uh, between expression so we can uh, we can use still the same process to move 5x on the other side we can minus 5x on both sides so minus 5x now 4x minus 5x we have minus 1x or x then let's write minus 9 is equals to 5x minus 5x that's 0 so we only have 1 here then to move minus 9 on the other side we can use uh, by adding 9 on both sides so plus So we have minus x, then minus 9 plus 9 is 0, is equals to 1 plus 9 is 10. Is this a final answer? No. Because we still have a negative sign on one side. And to, to remove the negative sign, on the variable, we can divide it by minus 1. So we have x is equal to minus, minus 10. Okay. It looks complicated, but still, if you are following the rules, you will surely find the, the value of the variables that will make the statement true. Now that's all for this video. If you find this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps us help more people like you. If you want to know more about Phuket Pulse, you can visit our Facebook page or you can call us at 081-417-0978.